We've got with us the uh, Chief Executive Officer of Dornier Sea Wings. It is a reborn project. It's been in the offing for a number of years, but now finally, after the injection of Chinese capital, it seems it will finally take off. What does uh, the Dornier Sea Star stand, or a uh, potential operator stand to gain by operating the Sea Star instead of any other float plane that there is on the market uh, now? Actually, we are not a float plane, but we are an amphibious aircraft that offers a power boat uh, kind of operation as we are uh, a seaplane um, that uh, has also a landing gear and makes it amphibious but we don't have floats so it not it is not a converted land aircraft that was turned into uh, an aircraft for amphibious operation but we are a, a full uh, flying boat really a power boat with a wing on it we call it um, Peter when you look at Malta what are the characteristics of a small island in the middle of the, ter of the Mediterranean that has to gain from a potential seaplane operation? Unfortunately, we had one single operation with a float plane. It lasted between 2007 and 2012. What are sort of the aspects that would make any potential seaplane operation successful and viable in the long run? With our aircraft, we can offer uh, connectivity with very little infrastructure. In fact, uh, we say that with our aircraft, you have one aircraft and a million runways because you can land everywhere uh, on a lake, on the sea, uh, on a river. But also, in addition, you have the full capabilities of a land aircraft uh, because you can land uh, on a normal runway flying down an uh, instrument landing system. So you have actually both options, and um, this, uh, together with the very high speed that we provide of 180 knots, which is 330 kilometers an hour, this is really competitive compared to a ferry service. So you can get uh, basically to any island very quickly and uh, very flexibly because you need only very little infrastructure for the aircraft itself. One last question, Peter. You've just arrived from Zohai Air Show. You've got a Chinese investor. The Asian market is fast expanding. There are a number of AOC, potential AOC operators uh, in the offing. Thailand, China, Hong Kong with Waterfront Air. What is um, the impression you got at Zohai, especially in terms of seaplane or uh, waterborne operations? This is very interesting for the uh, Asian Pacific uh, market because there are obviously uh, many thousands of islands that need connectivity. And so with our aircraft, we can offer connectivity even to remote areas uh, because of the speed advantage that we can uh, provide. And also a unique feature with our aircraft is that it can really handle higher sea states um, as we have a complete boat hull. So this is an actual uh, great advantage uh, together with the corrosion-free glass fiber uh, fuselage that we provide. It's a very attractive package and uh, we hope uh, to provide lots uh, of island uh, operators or uh, aircraft operators to islands a very, very uh, great amphibious aircraft. In fact, it is our ambition to provide the uh, world's most advanced amphibious aircraft. If I had to ask you one last question, I know I promised you three, but this is the fourth. <laughs> How many aircraft do you intend to sell within five years? Because there were, let us be honest, there were a number of false starts to this project, although the aircraft is fantastic and the operators are dying to have it. But we know uh, the number of false starts. When or where do you foresee that Diamond's uh, Sea Star will be in five years? Well, actually we are shooting for a certification and uh, first deliveries in 2018 or late 2018. Um, that means that we are in full swing and in, in building up the capacity. We currently um, are building a completely new production facility um, in China uh, in a town called Yixing. And um, this uh, production plant will have a capacity of up to 48 aircraft per year. So there will obviously be some um, potential for growth, but uh, this is our goal uh, to uh, have an LL capacity of uh, selling up to 48 aircraft. And uh, this is, we wanna be where we wanna be soon, perhaps not in five years yet, but uh, this is our midterm goal.